down. Good, good. Thanks. I will not lose. You're all done. What's up, guys? This is Lucky. I hope you liked my opening clip. The bitter, sweet tragedy of getting an entire team with one grenade and at the same time stepping on a mine and going down instantly. So, and that's exactly what Heroes vs. Villains is all about. Sweet victory and bitter, utterly bitter defeat. And the P90, I'm just all over the place with it. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to run and try to lure this guy back in here and hide patiently because I know he's going to come and he does and he goes down to my mind and this is this is a little last of us trick you wait for the guy to come to revive and bam boom I get the two so another heroes versus villains match this is my third one in the series and it occurred to me that all my games have had a losing game on Madagascar so both of these games the heroes and the villains are both on Madagascar so surely we will get a win on Madagascar. Chloe for our heroes is already trailing 6-3. And then that was Eddie Raja in his pirate costume. Um, rocking the pirate costume. The new pirate costume, new DLC. Extravagant Eddie. Going to be doing a little blind fire. You go down, get a KO, get some more. Get another one. Another KO. Oh, your chin of money was too late. Get a <laughs> we get another guy's down. I come on, I'm just begging for my grenade right now. I am so begging for my grenade. So you guys who are kind of new to my channel, Heroes vs. Villains is where I take two games and I cut them back and forth. One is a win. One is a loss. I try to pick close games. Sometimes there's comebacks. Sometimes there's not. And you kind of got to wait to the end to kind of see are the heroes going to come out on top or the villains going to come back out on top. And in this case, right now, it's looking like the heroes are struggling. Here we got Eddie. Villains up very, very tightly, tightly leading 9-7. Eddie's rocking the new DLC gun. The loud and obnoxious P90. I'm looking around the corner. Now I know, I know they're coming somewhere. I feel a little bit of heat. I run. I know there's a guy down here, and I saw him real fast. I glimpsed him, and the P90 just sh shreds him at up close range. Here we get this other guy, and he, you're shredded too, buddy. Shredded. Two quick down, Savior will not save him. Then I get down, trying to escape there again. Back to the heroes, trailing 11-9. Can't get this guy by the time he gets my other player. And we trade one for one. I got goodies all over the place here. Game very, very close. I seem I've got the MP34A with silencer. I'm also rocking the hunter and a grenade on this profile. I know the MP34A, I would struggle to get that down. So I'm thinking, look, I'm just gonna back up. I'm gonna go with the rest of my team. And unexpected, I come around the corner, bam, I'm getting shot, so I'm bailing. That guy's in front of me. I'm thinking, oh my god, I got the perfect flank here. I go in for the flank and I hear the melee sound, but I thought it was to my right. And he fucking downs me and <laughs> kicks me. Just can't get a break. Villains, again, still close. 14-11. 14-11. Good game. Again, trying to save this dude. P90. Shreds people. Shreds people at 770 rounds per minute death. Or actually, seven, 750 rounds per minute. So, you guys who checked out my gun guide... Um, I've made some additional corrections, um, mainly the Mettler body shots, and also a Naughty Dog dev reached out to me, and he helped correct my rounds for a minute. A little blind fire madness. 
The P90 may not be great at blind fire, but when you got a clip that big and you shoot 750 rounds per minute, you're gonna fucking hurt people, without a doubt. Oh man, you just shred them immediately. All right, it's time for my hunters. Start bringing the hunters out. Not in time to save that guy, but get the next one. Oh man, it just rips through people. And I still think ADS is still, if you can ADS with it, it's definitely, you're going to get have a much better look. P90. You kind of aim down that sight. So, I was gonna, am I going to get away? Going to get away? Oh, yes. Eddie got away. Eddie's only died once so far. Eddie's doing good. Eddie Raja! And he jumps in quick. Oh. And I wish I sh so should have got the down. And Eddie dies for the second time. And here we are. Back with Chloe and our heroes trying to gain the lead, and we do for the first time. Finally, take the lead 18 17. We're gonna fight to hang on. There they go, they tie it up. Going in, brick the quick grenade. Luckily, I've already got two already. I'm gonna throw that out there. He runs and jumps and avoids my grenade, but gives me my open shot. I'm gonna bank around the corner. And I'm injured, I'm damaged. And yeah, too hurt. Too hurt to do anything, man. Nothing I could do there. And I go down. So, I, as I was saying, really, um, Naughty Dog reached out. I got some corrections on my rounds per minute. I will post a link in the description of this video and in my previous two gun guide videos to a Google Doc. It's got all my updated stats. So, as I get new information, and stuff changes and stuff gets corrected um, and I update time to kills and stuff I will put it in that document rather than talking about oh look at that the blind side double down saved my guy that's right so I'll put it all in there and really there's not a lot of changes um, my time to kills were actually really quite really close and my rounds per minute were really close he just made a slight adjustment to my math Kind of lowered everything a little bit. It did. It did change. Did change a few things. Did change. So um, it's worth checking that out if that's the kind of stuff that you're interested in. Plus, all my other stats for my big comprehensive gun guide are in that one Google Doc too. You can print it out. It's good stuff. I did a lot of work on it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, boom! Headshot. Oh, and he headshot me. Oh my gosh! That guy just double headshotted me. He one-shotted my hunter and then turned around and one-shotted me. Kudos to you, dude. That was fucking dope. I pop my hunter. I'm in the one-on-one -on -one conversation, and then I know I'm gonna get away with this, and I do. Um, but he pops a brute, so I cannot continue to pursue, and I end up losing my sidekick. I got two guys down over there. And I'm not gonna get to them in time, and they are holed up right there. I know they're holed up, and I've only got—I know we're outnumbered. So I'm thinking, like, okay, I'm gonna come around. I'm gonna see what I can do and catch them on a flank. And I do. This dude still with the silencer. He still doesn't know where I am. He's running. I'm not getting my shots. He's ducking and weaving between pillars. And then finally he comes around to go for one of my other teammates. I get him. Then I'm gonna go for. Body number two, somebody else comes in there, get the grenade in, and that's kind of basically wreck them pretty good. And man, this game is like tight as they come, man. Tight as they come. Don't know if we will pull it out. Definitely want to get everybody up that we possibly can, but this team is doing a really, really good job of finishing people off at like at least two different times. I was getting picked up by revive packs. They managed to get me in the last, like, last little second. They're rocking Chinamani stones. They're making sure that they get their people up, right? They're making sure that they're getting their people up. And they're making sure that they finish us off quickly. So they're doing what they need to do to win, and then I just get flanked. And that's it. I'm done, right? Look, the revive pack came in, and look, look at him. He finishes me off. And here we got our villains. Villain's still totally, by now we've totally extended the lead out, 33-23, and um, 
Boring something crazy happens here. Looks like the villains might pull it out. Now, I'm going to take my quick down there. But I see I'm getting ate up, so I'm definitely I'm gonna go for the flank, right? I don't want I don't want to try to jump down there. Even if I try to swing and get a rope kill, chances are I'm gonna get eaten alive before I even make it out one swing. So my best bet is to try to flank, and I do. They waste their Chinamani stone, and I get the down, and I even manage to get away, right? For a second. But I get I get picked up, and um, our guy goes down. I'm able to pick my teammate up, and this game is still very much decided. Oh my mind that I just laid also got somebody, and so things just cannot go well for this team. And at this point, I got the money. I'm bringing it in here, and villains win. 40 to 26. Ended up being a blowout. Surprise, surprise. Only 13 KOs, but hey, only three deaths for Eddie Raja. And that may not be a lot of downs, but I'm still have I'll always be happy with like only two or three deaths. So to me, quite satisfied with that game. Now, back with Chloe. We'll have to watch what is basically a gut wrenching defeat. We got it down, and we are we are in this, man. We are so so in this. I'm thinking, only down by a few. Fighting. I've got plenty of money, right? I've got my hunters up. I've got tons of money. All I've got to do is start running the tables. And here we go. At 32, 29, uh, 33, 30. Um, then they get me down. We're gonna get me back up, but they got another one of our guys. They got their savior out. Manny, I've got goodies everywhere. My hunter is still running ragged. Got another person. And I've still got money, right? I've still got money, and I'm thinking, okay, this is going really well. 36 31, though. Just can't seem to close that gap, man. Every time we get on a little bit of streak here, then they manage to come back. My teammates can't seem to stay alive. They're finishing us off, man. These, this, this team, dude, they're fighting. They're doing what they have to do to win. Now we're only three KOs from winning. And it's 37-35. We got it within five. And here, I'm, I'm going to shorten that distance a little bit, bring it within four, and I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I think we can do this. And then I go down, and I'm afraid at that point it's probably going to be all over. So, anyway... Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This was just a simple little episode of Heroes vs. Villains. Not much to talk about. I, I hope you action? enjoyed the gameplay. I'm trying to pick some, like, a, not necessarily my best games, but some of the games that are closer and, like, a little bit more exciting and kind of crazy to watch. So, this is Lucky signing out. Tell me what you think. You Peace.